Hey guys, this is Torner, and today we're going to be talking about the Tech Raid team. Uh, most likely this Tech Raid team is going to be coming within... I know the first half of this year, I would say, before June, we end up getting a tech raid team. I know you guys probably aren't happy with that. I'm incredibly, like, I'm, I'm not too happy about it either, but I doubt we're going to be getting this tech raid team anytime soon because they like to hold it in so that way we're buying their other teams and uh, buying promo credits for Doctor Doom and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go through why I think this is going to be a three-man's team. Um, but before we got that, we've got a quick advertisement. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Dragon Champions. If you love the look of classic RPGs like Warcraft and enjoy squad fighter games like Star Wars Galaxy Heroes or Marvel Strike Force, this game is for you. The developers have poured their heart out to create a fantastic game with an interesting, engaging story, energetic and fun dialogue, and Easter eggs and references to all your favorite fantasy worlds. And best of all, they communicate with their community. With more than 60 heroes from the wild tribal orcs to the calm zen pandas, there's a faction that everyone can enjoy in the united fight against evil. The game is completely free to play and you can do everything without spending, but if you do want to spend, there are some amazing deals with some great value. My favorite thing is just the variety of balanced content available. You've got the expeditions where you can send your troops out to get resources back for you to be able to use. The tower that you can climb and challenge your roster and even the tournaments where you're going to compete against people on your level for character shards. Now, the great thing is that developers are currently giving you an awesome starter pack if you are below level 15. Head on down to the settings and use the promo code TORNA and that's going to get you 250,000 gold 500 Draco coins, 500 energy, and a whole new hero, Corcoran. Not only that, but it supports my channel. So what are you waiting for? Head on down to the description and click the links to download the game and start kicking some ass. Good luck and see you there. Now, if we have a look through our tech roster that we have in the game, there is a lot of characters who have been suggested to get reworks. A lot of people asking for reworks for a lot of these different characters. And a lot of these characters who are honestly pretty trash. Like if you look at these Cree minions, blah. If you look at the Hydra minions nowadays, blah. Aim, blah. Uh, Iron Man, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of these characters who are just honestly pretty trash. Tech has gotten to the point where some of these characters haven't had reworks since they were introduced. Some of them got reworks during the first year of the game or uh, their reworks were just blah <laughs> ant-man just it was pretty bad rework like he just didn't have mu all that much viability however when this three-man squad is introduced to the game it would not surprise me if they have dual uh purpose for example grand tournament plus raids similar to when uh the symbiotes were first introduced so why do I think this is the case? I think a lot of this is going to be coming down to a conversation that I had with Matt Sheets, uh, one of the lead character designers over in Marvel Strike Force, where he was specifically talking about Doctor Doom and the New Warriors. Uh, when they were first introducing the New Warriors, they were looking at creating them, and they basically looked at the existing Mystic team and was like, do we want to power creep Doctor Doom yet? And obviously the answer was no. He no had just come out not all that long ago. He was a character that was dominating the tech raids and dominating the mystic raids. He honestly was a character that very likely won't get power crept for quite a while because he is such an insanely great character. So... Doctor Doom is the probably the number one reason why we ended up getting the new Warriors as a three-man team. However, there is a number two reason as to why... Well, not number two reason. A, a similar reason as to why we ended up getting the Secret Avengers. The Secret Avengers obviously being this three-man squad where you can plug and play the last two characters. Obviously, there is preferable characters to them. One of those being Kestrel. Kestrel was obviously introduced to be this character that was meant to be uh, dominating the meta at the time. She was meant to be destroying the meta. She was amazing in raids, amazing here and amazing there. She's their baby, essentially. So it makes sense that they didn't want to power creep her immediately. So they ended up kind of creating this three-man squad here that ends up making it so that you can plug and play Kestrel into it. Now, if we have a look at the other teams, we've got the Web Warriors here. 
If you have a look at the bio characters, there is not all that many bio massively meta characters at the moment. There was like the symbiotes, however, they kind of got power corrupt out. Uh, if we just bring up like the bio characters, just so I can show you guys, if we look at the bio characters, there's not that many bio characters that were top of the meta and absolutely helping you dominate the, uh, the raids or anything at the time. So replacing the whole symbiote team kind of makes sense because they don't have one of those super super duper plug and play characters and it's similar to with astonishing x-men at the time astonishing x-men were introduced there was no x-men or mutant raid team really like if you look at the mutants they're like the only option for raids there was the uh, uncanny x-men who aren't really raid worthy there was like sinister and emma so potentially like a hellfire thing they could have done there but it was easier to kind of just replace them with a full new team because there wasn't as i said many plug and play kind of mutant characters so that's why likely we ended up with a full bio raid team and a full mist a uh, full mutant raid team while we had a plug and play team for the skills characters and a plug and play character team for the mystic characters however this obviously leaves us in this kind of awkward situation where we're going to be getting three new characters for this because these three were new at the time these three were new at the time three new tech characters i don't know it's just a theory maybe i'm going to be completely wrong maybe i'm on the right track i'd love to hear from you guys what you think however this does mean a kind of couple disappointing things iron man unlikely to get a rework for um, unlikely to get a rework for raids. However, to me at least, if I'm looking at Iron Man, I don't want Iron Man to be a raid character. Um, raid characters are typically um, just less about, like, here, look, a character with high damage and low health. That does not scream raid character to me. That screams an attacking character like for example how they already are in the power armor team so iron man to me at least more likely to get a rework to go along with grand tournament grand tournament obviously being the new game mode coming to marvel strike force similar to war except the solo um attacks and being as optimal as possible iron man can allow you to be more optimal alongside the power armor team if they get reworks and some new characters to kind of go alongside them which i think would be great i think iron man being the forefront of the grand tournament is a lot better than him being like delegated to a tech raid team in my opinion also means that star lord and rocket very unlikely to get reworks to go inside this tech raid team in my opinion for a start like what team are you going to make them guardians 2.0 or something and chuck in three new tech guardians i don't think that's the way to go i'd much prefer them keep them as some other kind of guardians rework down the down the line i don't think that um i don't think that necessarily cancels them out from getting a rework but for potential they could get a rework in the next patch or two for all we know with new guardians potentially coming out we know at the end of the year guardians of the galaxy are getting a movie uh like a mini movie onto disney plus uh i am groot or no uh christmas special that's right the guardians of the galaxy christmas special so we it wouldn't surprise me if we get something for guardians towards the end of the year and we know that marvel contest of champions is doing something with guardians towards the end of the year so that's kind of like my theory i'd love to hear from you guys if you kind of agree with this theory at least to me i doubt that they're going to like if i'm making a new tech raid team i'm going to look at the characters that people are currently using in the tech raid team and be like do i want to power creep out kestrel do i want to power creep out dr doom very 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 unlikely either of those end up happening we know doom ended up getting power crept out from the mystic section anyway by the eternals because eternals are eternals um but i doubt that they kind of make him power crept out from this tech section already uh it would decrease dr doom's viability by like 10 times he's obviously still going to be an amazing character but one of his most viable uh functions at the moment is in that tech raid so removing that tech raid from him he's already removed from the mystic raid what do you do with him now you use him for war you might use him for arena every once in a while uh, and that's really it maybe he has some viability in grand tournament who knows um 
Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this uh, theory and what you guys would like for a three-man tech squad. Three specific characters. Tell me who they are. Um, because honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if this ends up happening. That's it for today. Have a great day. Goodbye.